Here is why dentists are neo nazis. Put your head this way. Put your head this way. Put your head this way. At some point, she just went behind me and just grabbed my head. I put the whole machine thing in my head, and she was like, shh. The machine was doing shh. She had the hook thing put in my mouth, and she, you know, she was cleaning my mouth actually. She was cleaning. What's up everyone, welcome to your favorite channel where you get to learn about leadership, communication, and networking. My name is Dapo Ibrahim, and today I'll be sharing with you an experience I had with a dentist. So prior to the experience, I don't know what reason it might be that, you know, made you go to see a dentist, but in my own case, here was why I had to go to see a dentist, okay? It was kind of a ridiculous story, but yeah, come along with me. So. I met this girl and we, we've been hanging out and we of course have had some closeness and intimate connection and things like that. So on this very day, I knew I was going to meet, I knew I was going to see her at the gym and I was like, okay, yes, I got to freshen up, do all those things. So I bought a piece of gum and I saw this girl on the line you know I got to the gym and usually you have to stay on the line before you go into the gym so on this day I wasn't expecting to see her at the line though so I got to the gym and I saw her on the line so while she was there I was like oh what's up how you doing and then you know we give each other a hug and when it was time for her to go inside I you know she she went inside actually and I was still on the line waiting for someone else to leave the gym so I could go into the gym. This was this ridiculous, thank God this stuff. I, I, I walk out of Planet Fitness and it's just horrible over there at Planet Fitness. Um, because then you have to leave for, you have to leave, you have to wait for someone to be done walking out before you can go inside because of the people limit, you know, that they allowed into the gym due to the COVID thing. But now everything is now open. You could go into the gym whenever you feel like going into the gym. So she left and she went into the gym and I was outside so I took out my piece of gum and I was like yeah we go into the gym and we're going to you know kiss and all those things and I brought out my piece of gum put it in my mouth and I started chewing this piece of gum and while I was chewing the piece of gum I started hearing cracks like you chewing on stone and I was like and I kept chewing I was like oh I was like what the heck this gum has some stone in it or what so by the time I took it out of my mouth I realized I was chewing on my molar you know my molar cracked and I was chewing on my own teeth I was like what the heck <laughs> it was funny though because I didn't feel and the pain you know it wasn't painful um, I didn't even see that coming at all because of course I've been chewing gum I've been eating and you know for years and this just happened and I was like oh my goodness what is this so I felt I you know I used my finger to like feel in the thing and I realized that the teeth is broken so that was I had that was how I had a broken tooth. I brought a piece of gum, started chewing on the gum, and my teeth cracked and I started chewing on my tooth. So I had a crack in my you know, I had a cracked tooth in my mouth. So eventually I went to the gym, whatever happened, happened, you know, we had our connection moment, blah blah blah. Whether or not we kissed, I'll let you know at the end of the video. But that was the reason why I had to go see a dentist. Okay? That was the reason why I had to go see a dentist. And I called my dentist, um, booked an appointment to go see them. And this will be the whole point of this video because of the process that was involved, you know, in setting up the appointment, you know, preparing yourself, you know, preparing yourself physically mentally you know um healthily as well you got to prepare yourself before you go see a, 
dentist. So I went to see the dentist and first time I got there, the, dent the dentist was like, no, you got to do the COVID test and and then he brought out this COVID swab thing, long ass thing was gonna put it in my brain. And I was like, bro, what is going on? I'm just here for feeling, like look into my mouth and that's it. I just wanna feel the broken thing because I kind of know the process. Um, Cause I've done feeling before, you know, I had a cracked tooth once and I filled in the space. Um, that way it, pro it prevents, you know, the, they do feeling so it prevents you from having to go through extraction so they don't take out the teeth because it's very dangerous to just take out your teeth because at this once you clock your adulthood and you lose your teeth it doesn't grow anymore you start using fake teeth so um i just went to this guy and was like yo you got this covid thing for us blah 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 and eventually i told them i just re i recently did the covid test and i don't have to go through this process again so they were like, okay, so you've done this before recently. I told them it was like three weeks ago. And um, and that was the truth, by the way. Because everywhere I go, they're like, you got to do the COVID test. I was even thinking we've, we, we, we done with the COVID process, the COVID testing process. Now we should be talking about vaccine. Are you, are, have you done, have you taken, have you had the vaccine? But it, I, initially I was going to go through the process because I thought, they wanted me to take the vaccine so i was like okay thank god i don't have to set up appointments they give me the vaccine you know i said it's a test i was like a test no i just did a test i'm not doing this so eventually um they were like okay yeah you don't have to take the test blah 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 so i went there and while i was going to the machine the guy was like oh we gonna put this in your mouth you know and this is why they are nurses, new nurses, okay? They will just tell you to do this stuff. And if you, if you shake it or whatever, they'll be like, you're so scared. I'm like, yeah, of course, I am scared because you're asking me to put some random stuff in my mouth, you know? Um, he would just, they'll just ask you to sit down, just grab your mouth and just open your mouth with your hand and just, you know, start putting your finger in your mouth. And, and the, the dude was like, oh, you, and when I was going to take the x-ray, you know, uh, he, he asked me to stay, there was this machine, it was like a huge giant machine, then you stand, you know, in the machine, and he asked me to, um, there was this pointed thing there, okay, and he asked me to bite on the thing, and I was like, oh, just bite on it, so before, I, I was kind of hesitant, it was like, why are you so... Why are you so scared? I was like, because you asked me to bite some random thing on some machine. I was like, no, you. I was like, okay. Well, he said this is for the X-ray, so I had to like put my teeth on the machine for a while. You know, you gotta put your teeth. Uh, uh -huh. You have to hold on it, and then the machine, the X-ray machine, will go around your head. So he did an X-ray for me, and um, I. And then they asked me to go into a room, like a room with the chair, the dentist chair, and then you lie down, stretch your leg and all those things. So I was there and then another doctor came in, okay? Another doctor came in and the doctor was like, okay, I saw your x-ray, this and that. Um, I'm going to, what, what do you want? I told him what I wanted straight up. And I kind of noticed him because my mom is a dentist and I've gone through multiple, when I was a kid, I've gone through multiple extraction process. Like I said earlier on, I've done feelings before uh, in one of my back teeth. So I just told him, I have a crack in my teeth and I just want to feel it. Okay, that's it. And then he um, was like, okay, fine, come in two days. We'll do the feeling for you. So he set me up for an appointment in the next two days. Okay, in the next two days. So two days came. I went back to the place. Um, it wasn't as it was rigorous. The appointment setting setting up an appointment was easy. It was uh, it was an easy process. And then I went back there. Saw um, went to the attendants, the like the receptionist. Told him why I was there. Took my health insurance card. Took my ID. Asked me to wait in the reception. So I had to wait a couple of minutes. And then they called me in. So when I got into the place, you know, the same, asked me to go into the room, do the dentist chair, um, lie on the dentist chair. So I lied on the dentist chair and he, 
and then there was this lady this lady came in um sweet lady by the way sweet lady you know i'm glad she was the one that actually you know attended to me so she came in and she just brought out all the dental equipment it was like you know have you seen all these american movies where the the hero of the movie after going through some space and then some face and then they are now like on this on the verge of revenge and then they have like lots of machine guns hidden under their bed or on, on in some underground layer and then they brought everything out and they're like putting all their equipment like boom boom you know and she brought all this dental equipment like this pointy thing um like the mirror thing to put in your mouth a drilling machine um a washing machine all this, she just lined them up on some side like this and i was like who and she she was like oh why are you nervous i was like because you're gonna because i see what you're putting out there and why would we just say before she just said open your mouth i was like this is why i'm nervous because now you're about to put some stuff in my mouth given the fact that they're doing the job they are doing the job and i respect that and, and that's the whole point of this video okay they are doing the job okay and in the process of you doing your job sometimes uh, you know you're doing your job on me so i'm like i'm technically a guinea pig at that moment okay so she was she was like oh yeah yeah you no need to be nervous so i was like okay okay so i was calm and then she just said now we're gonna wash your mouth whatever was it wash my mouth i can't remember but yeah i think it was like a cleaning process of my mouth and then when she was doing it she would just put my head boom put your head this way and you know my butt is like <laughs> she's like put your head this way put your head this way put your at this way at some point she just went behind me and just grabbed my head and put the whole machine thing on my head and she was like shh the machine was doing shh she had the hook thing put in my mouth and she you know she was cleaning my mouth actually she was cleaning so and the way they do this thing they're putting a lot of energy into it okay a lot of energy like you just because sometimes you the patient you might be combative because you you know and she's um She's about five foot, like five, maybe like five, like five three, um, you know, curvy and everything. Tell Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, five foot, like five foot curvy, and um, and I'm six one, you know, heavily built and everything. So she had to apply pressure, you know, when she was pinning my head down. She was like, yeah, and she was. I don't know. You, have you ever seen The Rock like grab someone about to strangle someone? I mean, The Rock in the rundown, like, it's a big hand. It's a big hand. Don't fight it. That was what she did. <laughs> so, she had my head and washed my mouth and everything. So, while she was washing my mouth, she was like, oh, boom. She just went to the crack spot and put the machine in. Not, not the. She put the drilling machine. And they'll just put a drilling machine and they're like, the machine was like, oops. And they put the drilling machine in there. And she's like, oh, you feel pain? I said, a sting. You feel pain? I can't do nothing. I gotta call the doctor. Oh. So the thing is, when you feel pain, it's something else. They can't just do feelings for you once you feel pain. They gotta do something. So I was like, you just gonna put the feeling thing you know the the cement ceramic thing you put in the mouth and, and i'll be gone she's like no 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 i'm not touching this i'm i'm calling the doctor i was like mama touch it okay touch this thing i just want to be done from this place i just want to leave this room right now and she was like no he just went and i remember that i was like can i pull out my phone and take pictures of this place? i'm gonna show you pictures I was like can i pull out my phone and take pictures and and record she was like no 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 pictures no cell phone and actually when she now left to go call the doctor i brought out my phone taking pictures and some quick videos she came in and she saw the video and she just started smiling very cool lady nice lady i'm like i said i'm glad she was the one that actually worked on me so she the doctor came in and then the doctor was like this is what you need you feeling pain in there initially i was feeling some type of pain though not so much but like a sting you know i don't know if you've ever had a dental cavity like a dental pain i've had two of it okay 
I don't wish it on my enemy because every time you feel pain in your teeth, it goes straight into your brain. All right, you can't communicate this pain to anyone. It's just like you, you're just down. You know, your head is like all your brain synapses, your neural synapses are like on fire, like on lightning, and the pain is just all over your head. So, I was technically feeling this pain. Um, no, not at this moment. I mean, I felt it before. So, I told the doctor, yeah, I was feeling some pain. And he just said, well, if you're feeling any pain, what we have to do is extraction or we have to check the root now. And the moment I heard extraction and root now, I was like, um, doc, no pain. Just feel this damn thing. <laughs> okay. The doctor was like, you sure? I was like, I'm here for feeling. I don't want no extraction. I don't want no root nerve surgery. I don't want no oral surgery. Nothing. Just feel my teeth and let me leave. That was like, okay. And then she called back the lady in. And then the lady started this. They have some real high tech device though. Because the thing she used to work on me was like some laser blue thing that she put in my mouth. And she put the filling. And she like dried up the laser Thing, use the lace thing to like dry up the ceramic because they'll put like a ceramic thing in your teeth and then they put the lace thing. Um, I remember when I first did my feelings, it was like over 15 years ago. And when I was done, you know, the doctor back there, I did it in Nigeria at the Upper Femme University. Um, one of the student dancers did a feeling for me. Nice set of people, beautiful set of people, okay. Beautiful set of people. In fact, I got to tell you a story. I remember back then when I went to about and I was to, I'm still coming back to the story, okay? But I just want to share the story with you because I'm sharing with you why a dentist and neo nurses, okay? I'm just I'm just sharing this with you. So I remember when I went down back there, so I remember our law university, the dental section, bunch of student dentists, beautiful people, white gown and whatever. And I went there. I told them I'm feeling some pain in my teeth. Okay, I told them I was feeling some pain in my teeth, and I told them I was feeling some pain in my teeth, and they came, you know, they came and they did the X-ray thing in my teeth. Okay, I went to Abu Abafemiolo University Dental Clinic section, and. I was because I was having some pain in my teeth okay and um, I let's hold it for the sound I'm just gonna hold for this noise because this whole noise thing is becoming irritating. Okay, so I went to the above from all university dental section because I was having some pain in my teeth and then I went over there so when I got to the place I met this dental student and they were all like looking I don't know if they were looking for someone to experiment on so I went there and I actually went there for filling because I had a hole in my teeth okay and when I got there they did the x-ray so after doing the x-ray on me and this is why they are new nurses okay they did the x-ray on me and after doing the x-ray on me i just realized they were all having meeting they were like calling themselves like oh come look at the x-ray they didn't show me the x-ray say look at the x-ray and then before i knew it one doctor called one dental doctor called the next one the student called the next student and there were like eight of them they didn't show me they were like look at the x-ray this and that and then they 
<laughs> this was funny. So one of them, I think the head of the student dental doctor, he now came to me and was like, what we're doing is we're going through your x-ray and we realize that you have an impaction. And I was like, okay. He said an impaction. I said, what is that? He said, instead of your teeth growing, in, growing up this way, you know it's in the gum it's not out it's still in the gum but they saw it through the x-ray so instead of it growing this way it was growing this way so he was like impaction is that it's going to clash this teeth and i was like are you feeling pain i said no he said well you're not feeling pain now but you will feel pain in the future i said oh okay he said instead of it growing this way it's growing this way and then it will cause pain here and then the pain will be in your brain I said, oh, so what's the solution to that? He said, we will have to perform oral surgery on you. I said, oral what? She said, yeah. I said, how does it work? He said, um, we'll have to open your mouth and cut, <laughs> cut your mouth and, and take the whole thing out. From We'll have to open your gum and take the whole thing out. I said, my God. All right, just let's do the, the feeling first and then I'll go think about this. And for three days on straight, I remember I was very depressed because I went there to fix one thing and then I realized I had another problem. So I called my mom and then my mom spoke to a doctor at her office because then I was in a different state. I was in college and then um, I, was in, uh, I was in OAU, Ocean State. Um, my family was in the bad so I traveled to OAU to school. So my mom reached out to some doctors and the doctor was like, don't worry, it's still growing. When it, when it grows over time, it'll come up. Like I said, 15 years after I felt no pain I felt no reason for any oral surgery I felt nothing just I'm just okay and this is why the neo Nazis don't need to be putting fear in people's mind okay but coming back to my story so this lady did the feelings like I said they have this high-tech thing and back then in OAU when I did my feeling I remember then that the student doctor told me you can't eat nothing on that teeth for like over 48 hours and this was like years ago so like I said the technology has changed because when after she was done and I asked the doctor what are the rules what, what should I do what should I avoid should I avoid chewing this that was like it's good like just in one hour you could start chewing you just make sure you brush and you floss and you do everything that you are supposed to do on a regular basis so um to cut the long story short okay to cut the long story short i would like to share with you the things that you need to keep in mind if you're going to see your dental doctor or a dentist okay how to prepare yourself when you have to go see a dentist okay and i have a list over here all right first you want to choose a trustworthy dentist all right choose a trustworthy dentist choose someone that you know that you that's honest with you um two confirm your appointment all right confirm your appointment make sure you're on point make sure everything is well detailed and you know the date of your appointment if there's anything just make sure you communicate with them okay the next one is provide your dentist with your dental history if you have it okay um like my dentist here in new york i didn't provide them with any dental history because that was my first time going to the place and the last time I saw a dentist was when I was in Nigeria so I don't have no history but you want to do that because I had to do the research then the next one is bring your payment insurance cards no if you don't have insurance they won't attend to you okay that's a fact make sure you bring your payment uh, or make sure you bring your insurance card and your state ID you need those things number five provide your dentist with a list of all your medications make sure you like I said make sure you always communicate with them let them know all the things that you're taking provide them with a list of all your medication very important um, the next one is make sure you sleep well get enough sleep before you go there that way you mentally relax your nerves are calm um, you don't have to overthink before going for this procedure it's not really a big deal though even if you're going to extraction it's not a big deal they have enough um, medication to support you they have anesthesia to you know to deaden the gum so they could do so it's just easy extraction these days it's not like back in the days when i remember when i did my very first extraction they had to like you know like shake the teeth out of my gum 
and I had because my I did that at my mom's hospital. My mom works at the military hospital in Ibada, and I had um, I had four soldiers. Okay, four military um, soldiers because, like I said, she works in the military hospital. I had four soldiers hold me down. Okay. One on my leg, one on my leg, two right there, and then the dentist was like pulling because I was shaking, okay? And every time I think about that, I still think about those fears from back in the days, even though I'm not supposed to, I'm supposed to um, have, you know, forgotten about all those things, but every time I have to see a dentist, I remember all those things, and um, it makes me kind of biased, okay? And my bias is beginning to come in. Um, but yes, yeah, sleep well so you don't get nervous. Um, another thing is to ask your dentist if you should um, do any form of special cleaning before you come there. Um, this is not so important because when you get there before they start treating you, they would eventually clean your mouth before they do anything. So, but also you want to ask them if there's any special thing that you have to do before you come. Um, for your appointment, make sure you arrive early. That way they attend to you on time and then you could go back home on time. All right. Um, if you have any specific question that you think you might want to ask them, especially if it's after the whole dental procedure, um, be it filling or extraction or oral surgery or whatever, make sure you have it written down because nine times out of ten after your dental procedure, I guarantee you won't remember to ask as much question as you're supposed to ask, okay? Uh, because you're probably going through some kind of face or some pain or whatever so nine times out of ten you you probably won't remember so make sure you have your questions written down um, also avoid caffeine before your visit to the doctor because you don't caffeine makes you jittery or anything that has alcohol in it you don't want to be jittery while they are working on you like i said you remember how they hold you you don't want to be shaky and jittery because this what they do is very delicate okay what they do is very delicate they're working in your mouth and what they do is really delicate and you don't want to be jittery you don't want them to make mistake on your mouth you don't want them to drill the wrong spot you don't want them to crack the wrong tooth while they're working on you all right so also let your dentist know if you are anxious remember i kept saying yeah they're asking me are you you're nervous you're scared you're this i kept saying yes because i see all those machines all those tools that you're about to put in my mouth you know and um always let them know if you're anxious because they have their professional way of calming you down Okay, they have their professional way of calming you down and it's a professional environment, you know, deal with them professionally, they will take care of you, they will deal with you professionally as well. It's, it's, a, it's a very camaraderie relationship, a very friendly relationship. Um, another thing is be open and be honest with your dentist if there's anything, if you chew tobacco, if you smoke marijuana, if you smoke or whatever it is, because the more truth you can provide to them, the better the service they can render to you, alright? and um schedule after you're done make sure you schedule your next appointment if you remember clearly the title of this video is why dentists are neo nazis i just want to point out some things real fast and real quick dentists are the most caring people on earth their choice of profession is something that the world really needs they are very professional they're very delicate and of course they want to make sure you have the best oral hygiene okay you want to have the best oral hygiene because if you don't have the best oral hygiene of course the moment you open your mouth people will start running away from you and you probably most likely will know why they are running away from you take for example this girl i was about to you know um if i have a bad oral hygiene it wouldn't work out all right it wouldn't work out but thanks to the dentists thanks to the dental doctors out there thanks for making this work out thanks for taking care of us thanks for taking care of someone like me oh and of course special thanks to the female dentist that took care of me and the point of this video is not to uh, the great dentist in any way it's to actually elevate them and that was just a catchy title and i want you guys to focus on the fact that dentists are the most amazing people in the world and if you as a person if you've decided to choose being a dentist as a career option i think you have one of the most amazing career in the world like i said my mom is a dentist um i've been seeing dentists for 
years and for ages right now you know right from my childhood like i said i've had extraction i've had feelings i've gone to so many people you know and um i think they're just amazing people um and i think people like me like myself and every other person that gets nervous at the you know at the sight of seeing a dentist or you know on hearing the word dentist um we need to walk with them okay walk with them communicate with them okay every time the, the dentist tells you to place your head this way just place your head this way they're not going to stab you in the head or whatever they will actually walk with you to make sure you get the best out there um i think i had an amazing experience i think they were able to do a lot of things for me um, and I'm just grateful and appreciative to them for doing what they do. You know, what they do is beyond amazing. Okay, what they do, like I said, it's beyond, it, it's beyond mind blowing. So yeah, it's just about working with them and understanding them. And that is why I came up with this list on how you should prepare yourself before going for your appointment and, um, you know, before setting up your first appointment and of course, before going for your procedure it might be feelings it might be extraction it might be oral surgery you just want to be physically mentally you know and health healthily healthily prepared you know towards whatever it is that you will be going through um i love dentists okay i love dentists um <laughs> i don't know but i was gonna say i would love my wife to be a, a dentist but no i think I will just want a wife that will be in the health field. It doesn't matter what she does because people in the health field always have knowledge. Um, I'm not in the health field, I'm in the media field. And of course, having someone in the health field will be a very good compliment. Um, someone that can make sure that everyone stays healthy. I can of course make sure everyone stays healthy. Like I like said, we live in the information era, okay? Everything we do, everything you need to know is always on Google. And by the way, one thing that I think I left out on the list is do your own research, okay? Every time you make an appointment and maybe like the first appointment and the dentist says this is what needs to be done on you, um, I would encourage you to do your own research because we live, we basically live in the information era. You, you know, you have access to Google, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook group, um, Yahoo search, so many information era, okay? So many information out there for you. So. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. No excuse to not knowing what to do. If you don't know what to do, you're just not making use of your cell phone. You're not making use of your laptop because every time someone asks you a question, and of course you don't have to rely on those things all the time, but they are always there at your disposal. So I memorize things a lot, okay? I keep a lot of things in my memory because I want to have them in my memory. But then I also understand that I have my phone and my laptop as a backup, okay? So what I don't know now, I can always research it. But don't get to the point where you feel like you could research everything and then you become lazy as far as keeping things in your memory is concerned. Make sure you still keep your memory sharpened. Keep your knowledge, uh, your learning ability sharpened. Um, keep your recalling, memory recalling ability. Make sure you keep everything sharpened. But like I said, dentists are the most amazing person in the world. They are not neo Nazis. They are not terrorists. They are amazing professionals who are out there to cater to people of the society cater to your oral needs make sure you don't have any form of um oral jeopardy in the future so they do they're, they're working their best and i think people that are terrified about dentists you know people that are terrified about extraction and having all those machines and tools in your mouth you just need to calm your nerves okay calm your nerves Go through all those procedures, go through the list I gave you and you will be calm and you will be able to go through this. And if anything, if you need any, you know, my email is down there. Make sure you, you can connect with me. Um, my social media is also out there. Connect with me on social media um, at Dapo Ibrahim TV, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. Same name, Dapo Ibrahim TV. If you're looking to improve yourself in leadership, communication and networking, this is your last stop. This is your channel because that is what we discuss here on this channel. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you 
want more people to see this video please make sure you click the share button but most importantly i would like you to go through all my videos on self-mastery on leadership on communication on how to network like a pro go through my playlist you will learn tons of information out there and until next time when i'll be seeing you in my next video remember to always be your best self my name is dapo ibrahim peace and love to everyone take care